Hi, this is Rich Teresa with One Inspiring Woman, and today I have a little bit of a ghost story. Hi, my name is Ruth Teresa with One Inspiring Woman. I'm an intuitive psychic medium here in the Sugarland area. That's just outside of Houston. Since I was a child, I've interacted with ghosts. I see them, hear them, and I even feel their energy everywhere I go. I love mostly hearing about their life. I usually have ghosts just show up at my home. I will post their ghost stories in my video series called Ghost Stories, as many as I possibly can. If you like my content, please make sure to subscribe, like, share, and even hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. So I've been up late tonight doing some videos and kind of getting things ready for this weekend that I need to upload a whole bunch of stuff. But I was just doing a video about Leo and all of a sudden I heard my cat that passed away last year meowing from the entry area. And he used to do that so many times when he was younger. He would sit in the entry area if we didn't give enough food before we went to bed because, you know, he could starve to death before we woke up in the morning, of, of course. Um, and, um, but George is in the house and he is so funny and he is so energetic in the foyer of the space. So, um, I'm going to show you some pictures of what I just picked up from the foyer. And so you can see that playful energy. This is a, a George that we hadn't seen for a long time. George was 20 years old when he passed. And so for many, many years, he was um, very slow and very tired. And he just kind of had that Leo energy in him kind of like I'm the king of course his name is King George um, but he had such this um, freedom of I'm above everybody else and everybody's gonna do what I want he had such an amazing energy and just an amazing um, quality um, of being around people and he loved certain people and he didn't like other people I don't know why he had this um, like amazing energy but one of the things I want you to understand is so many times our animals even in uh, passing will come back to us they come back to us over and over and over and over so many times that's the cool part um, a lot of times people are surprised that you know maybe an animal that they had as a child that they were really connected to is also the animal they have now and they're like oh my gosh that's so sweet but let me explain something to you this animal has come back to you not just in this lifetime several times but in past lives they kind of pick us kind of as our guardian angels do they pick us and go that's my person and that's who I'm going to be with for several lifetimes and sometimes it's you know five or six lifetimes it could be 10 or 20 lifetimes it could be as as many as they would choose, but they keep coming back to kind of help our energy uh, pull forward, uh, kind of release energy, and they pick up that extra energy that we're unable to take care of or not really ready to take on. So that's kind of interesting. Animals love us unconditionally, no matter what. Even if we kind of, I'm not ready for you today, or I'm not wanting you to sit in my lap today, um, they still love us. They love us from a distance. Um, now, George, King George, loved to purr. He had the loudest purr I've ever heard of any cat ever and you can almost hear him across the room he loved to purr and that purring brings healing to our body it brings healing to our cells it brings healing to all parts of us our emotional our physical and our spiritual body all together just hearing that purr that purr coming out it was amazing. It was totally amazing. And I just want you to know that George um, came to visit me today and I'm so happy that he did. Thank you for joining me today. And I know that we'll be talking again soon.